There are two ways to play Hypixel Skyblock. The long way and the short way. The long way would be to grind for every material and item yourself, then craft whatever you need. This process can be really annoying because Skyblock's a game where efficiency when grinding is only as good as the tools you use. The short way would be to find the most efficient way to get coins and then spend those coins on that same item. That's why the bazaar exists. It's a place where players from any part of the game can exchange items no matter how difficult it was to obtain, and the prices are dictated completely by players. In my previous video, I went over all the auction house flipping methods. If you want to see that, I'd recommend you click the card in the top right hand corner. The margins can be really high and can make you a ton of money. Um, also, if this tutorial is helpful for you, please leave a like down below and it, it basically tells YouTube that I did a good job and recommends this video to more people. If you could do that, it would help me out a ton. In order to get good at bizarre flips, you should not only understand the how, but also the why. Now, also, this isn't, I know this isn't bizarre skin. It's because I have Nick Hyder on. We all know that people flip by, quote, buying low and selling high. And I bet a lot of you are asking, well, how is it possible to constantly do that? Wouldn't the price of everything just constantly increase? Well, first of all, you shouldn't be asking that question so early. And the answer is no, because of instant sell uh bringing it down anyways i know that might not mean anything to you right now so let me explain how the bizarre works on a grand scale bizarre flips work because there's no bot that sets the price for any item in the game every time a player instantly buys or sells the price of an item changes an instant buy would consume as many sell offers as it can in order to give you the items starting from the least expensive and automatically moving up to the more expensive offers. An instant sell offer works in the same way. It consumes as many buy offers as it needs in order to uh, sell your items and award you coins, starting with the most expensive buy offers and automatically moving down to the less expensive ones. This changes the buy or sell price of the item, since the number you see is the amount that a person is willing to buy or sell for, uh, so literally, the buy price is only as good as the best buy offer. That's how the price is determined, is by offers, which get consumed when you instant buy or instant sell, and that's why these prices constantly change. This is why on update day, you might see some items with a ridiculous buy and sell price in the tens of millions, because the only person willing to sell it is someone that has like a ridiculously high price set you can see this with the gemstones at the current moment in the meta there's only one offer for a perfect jasper gemstone and it's 500 million because literally no one else has an offer literally nobody look there's only one there's only one seller meanwhile if you have an item that has 58 sellers with over 600 stock then the price is more predictable you know with like 158k a player fulfilling a buy or sell offer instantly widens the gap between the buy and sell price, aka the margin, and opens the door to flipping. As flippers continue to quote buy low and sell high, they bring the buy and sell prices closer together, essentially reducing the margin. This process happens 24 seven and is why flipping as a strategy will always exist. And even after YouTubers like me upload about it, it will continue to exist. As a flipper, without even thinking about it, you are contributing to keeping the buy and sell prices in a similar range, stabilizing the prices of goods. Now that we understand why flipping works, let's get into how it's done. So like I said before, there are two ways to buy an item in the bazaar, and that's instantly and through an offer. Let's say I go to diamonds. You can buy instantly any amount you want for whatever price that the people making offers uh, dictate, or you can make your own offer and then people that instant sell will supply the items to you same for selling of course if you saw my auction flipping video you would know that if there's an easy option and a difficult option for a task there's room for making money there buying instantly is well it's quick uh, but it comes at a cost you're getting these items for way more expensive than if you were to set a buy offer. See, look at that right there. I bought one diamond instantly for 8.7 coins, and then I set up a buy offer, and I got one for 7.8 coins. Now, it's not that big a difference, you know, 0. 0.7 coin or 0. 0.9 coins. So not even one coin. But if you think about it on the grand scale of buying and selling thousands of these, tens of thousands of these, that can start to add up. 
of course there are items with a higher margin than a freaking diamond to make money you can purchase items with a buy order and then sell them back with a sell offer it sounds stupid simple because it is you just want to make sure that the margin is decent when doing this because you do pay a slight tax of 1.25 percent on any sales you make so to demonstrate that let's find an item that has a high movement uh, the way to do that would be to be in the advanced mode of Mazar. You can see how many offers there are. There are 209 million hardstone offers, which is insane. So let's say I wanted to flip some hardstone right now. Um, actually, I don't know. The margin's not that great. Let's find an item that has a pretty decent margin. So the way, again, the way you do that is by hovering over buy and sell offers and seeing the number between them. In this case, it only looks like about 13 coins, not a very high margin. I like to be in the enchanted area because that's where a lot of the action is. I think just for demonstration purposes, we're gonna try flipping regular redstone. So let's set up a buy order of 1024 at the current price of 1.6 coins per unit boom and it's probably going to get filled almost instantly because it's regular redstone so let's see okay there you go the order went through now what i could do is either collect the items and then create a sell offer or i can do this fancy thing called pressing the flipping button so as you can see the lowest offer for selling right now is 2.3 coins so what i could do actually is right click this and then flip order for 2.3 and there you go that instantly converted it to a sell offer for 1024 enchanted or regular redstone for 2.3 coins and as you can see it's filling up and there you go just like that i made like 0.5 coins per redstone now of course these coin amounts we're talking about here are literally nothing like who cares right yeah it even tells you right here 716 coins expected profit it's not that great but imagine now what would happen if i did the same thing with enchanted that would literally be 160 times better if the margins are the same which it doesn't look like it's a 20 coin uh, margin there but anyways that's that's the concept you can scale it up to enchanted and double enchanted items if you like it could make a decent amount of money doing that there's a reason why people say bizarre flipping is one of the best methods in the game which i personally wouldn't really agree with but I, that's not my place to say that but this is this is just the basics uh so depending on how active the market is your buy orders might not be filled and your sell offers might not be filled this is because there are dozens more players trying to do the same exact thing that you're doing uh, to check if this happened you can actually see the list of buy or sell offers right here and whatever price that you set make sure it's the top one let's say that this was my diamond and buy order for 1232.1 coins if the price on top is not that that means somebody put a buy offer in front of mine now you have to reopen the inventory to update it see someone else put one for 0.2 now if i was that guy with 0.1 that means that i just got um undercut even though the price is higher but i'm buying so whatever so what you would have to do is then cancel your order and put a new one up if you want to still remain on top or you could leave it and hope that the order in front of yours gets filled and then yours gets filled so there's two options you're left with there sometimes you should be patient your sell offer might not fill right away don't cancel it immediately sometimes it isn't a bad thing to wait six to 12 hours for a sell offer to fill and if you think about it technically that makes flipping a passive money making method that being said if you're flipping constantly it might be best to spread your efforts out against like you know multiple items i i was actually just selling this stuff i wasn't trying to flip it but this could be a good example you know oh and speaking of flipping in my previous video i talked about auction flipping and right there I just made about 700,000 coin profit on a spirit scepter. Again, if you haven't seen it, you should you should click the card in the top right on auction flipping. That's 700k coins profit from flipping right there. That's pretty neat. Also, don't feel bad for constantly having to cancel and remake orders if the item is being sold a ton, especially on enchanted items like regular glowstone. I mean, this is where most of the offers are. Look at that. 3.4 million in 383 offers versus enchanted 
which has only 156,000. So, like, there's a lot more activity with the unenchanted versions of items because a lot of flippers are doing what they do. It's just how it works, so I wouldn't feel bad. Also, there's no tax for making offers in the bazaar. You only actually have to pay a tax once the sale happens, which is great because you can store coins this way. I've been historically storing hundreds of millions in enchanted diamond block orders. For example, I have 100 mil. I could just go here set up a buy order for 1,000 enchanted diamond blocks for a custom price of 100,000 each. And that's how you store a million coins in the bazaar. No risk of it ever going away because no one's ever gonna sell you enchanted diamond blocks for 100,000. And if they did, that's actually a good thing because then you'd be able to sell them to the NPC to make double your money, which again, would never happen. So it's a good way to store coins in the bazaar. See, it cost me nothing to make that order, cost me nothing to cancel it. It only charges you taxes once you actually, you know, fulfill the sale. Um, I should also note that you can check how active a market is by again activating the advanced thing and then checking the graphs there are graphs too for example i could look at gemstone prices here view graphs now my gy scale is terrible it seems like the price of this gem specifically crashed interesting all these graphs have different meanings it's just it's really annoying because my gy scale is bad there you go the price in which buy orders have been filled so there you go Wait, why is this saying the price went literally to zero? That doesn't make sense. But let's just say it's at about 75,000 right now, which halved in the past week, which makes sense as an update day item. The buy order volume has shot up for whatever reason. Instant sell volume is, a, is pretty low right now, historically. These are good to look at. Oh, and then you can clearly see the progression here of sell offers going up and down. It's really interesting to look at all this stuff. But, you know, it could help you find which markets are the most active, which ones have the highest margins, for example, like this. Has a pretty good 11,000 coin margin. So, again, if I wanted, what I could do is create a buy order. That's a 70 mil flip. I don't know if I want to do Let's Let's do a stack. Let's, a little less extreme. That's freaking scary. So yeah, let's let's do a uh, a buy order for 4.4 mil. Now the thing is, gemstones are a bit more expensive, so this is probably not going to go through that quickly. You can also check which items are most frequently traded on websites like Stonks.gg and BazaarTracker.com. I'll put the links in the description. They allow you to sort by items with the highest margins, which items are most profitable when reselling from NPC, which ones can be enchanted or tiered up and which craft flips you can do. These are all methods I'll talk about in a minute. If you insist on fighting other players in real time instead of waiting, there is a strategy that prevents you from constantly getting undercut when selling. So for example, let's say I am trying to flip. Okay, just for example purposes, this is not something I'd recommend doing with like enchanted redstone, but let's say I, again, instant buying is a terrible idea, but I'm doing it just so I have something. So let's say, ignore the fact that I instant bought that. So let's say that I'm trying to sell my enchanted redstone, right? And I want to sell it fast, but not instantly. So I still make a good amount of money. So what I'll do is I'll click on the enchanted redstone, create a sell offer for half. You might've noticed I put half in my um, ender chest here. So I can take the other half and then I do the same thing. Create sell offer, boom. Now, how much of my redstone did I sell in the first order? only nine i'll cancel the one all the way to the left create another sell offer and then i'll click back in here and the one on the left is now the one that was on the right i'll claim it cancel it put another sell offer up so what this does is it makes sure that i'm always on the top for sell offers which means that if someone undercuts me then i can instantaneously undercut them it's only a strategy I'd recommend if you're constantly fighting some guy to be the top uh, sell offer. See, like that? Look at that. I sold most of my first offer just like that. Now I only have 13 left. And then, uh -huh. This is a strategy, again, for high movement markets. Now, if you're going to be doing this with, like, you know, concentrated stone, you probably don't need to do that because there's not going to be quite as many people fighting you and undercutting you so you know this is only really a strat for people that are just trying to get their stuff out quick um that gemstone flip ain't doing so hot speaking of did i get undercut 69 
Wow. I got undercut four times there. So then, of course, cancel. And I think I'm just going to take my earnings here, which is literally only 11,000 coins, and sell it. There you go. I'll set up a sell offer of just one of them. But, you know, what I could have done is waited 6 to 12 hours and then sold it again and made sure that the price was higher so I wasn't losing money on my flip. But there you go. So anyways, this is what I would call traditional bizarre flipping. It literally is to just set and forget, create a buy order, get the items, create a sell offer, sell the items. It's really that simple. There's not much else to it. Now, there's a bunch of little strategies with the bizarre that I'm going to get into. Uh, the crafting one's actually quite good. But well, we'll mention them because there are other ways to flip with Bazaar. So let's get straight into it and make it quick. So the first one is quite obvious. It's the inflation go burr method. So uh, what you do is you make a buy offer for an item that's commonly sold in abundance to NBCs. For example, clay, sugarcane, snow. For this example, let's, uh, let's do one for snow. So you might notice if I were to sell this, I just bought, I instant bought from the bazaar for 0.8 and I could sell it for one coin. Now, of course, if I wanted to scale this up, what I could do is buy one of these and let's see how much it costs. Okay, so it costs 600 coins. You get 600 coins selling it to an NPC. So if I were to go in here and then create a buy offer for enchanted snow block, as you can see, there are people here trying to buy it for like seven coins underneath the npc sell price so if i bought a big stack for a hundred thousand coins and it instantaneously went through so i bought it for 90 about ninety five thousand coins i sell it back for 97 so i literally only made about two thousand coins doing that but of course you can take this concept and scale it up you can make a buy offer of like ten thousand of these for you know and it, this is even better, actually, if you were to do it with Kane, especially after a Jacob's Festival. So many people sell their Kane to the Bazaar immediately after a festival. So you can make a much better amount of money uh, setting up a buy offer for Enchanted Sugar Cane and then immediately selling it to the adventure. So, you know, I call it inflation go burr because you're generating coins out of nothing. The next one is a crafting flip. This one's much, much more profitable. Some people call it a, a tier up flip or what is it? An up tier flip? I don't remember. It's something to do with tearing up. I think tearing up flip. Um, my gemstone just sold and they made like 11,000 coins. But um, as you can imagine, there's a discrepancy in the cost of 160 of a regular item versus the enchanted, which you can take advantage of. Most players would be too lazy to buy a bunch of, for example, rotten flesh and then compact it into enchanted. So they'll just buy the enchanted. Now this again opens the door to flipping. So make sure before you do this that uh, you actually make enough coin and that you're not paying more in taxes or that for some reason the markets are weird and enchanted is worth less than 160 just, just be careful the, again stonks.gg and bizarre tracker will tell you whether or not these are good flips uh, but like for example if I were to set up a buy order 160 rotten flesh 720 coins right and then I compact it and then I set up a sell offer and there you go made 40 coins <laughs> it's not a lot but like if you have nothing if you have like 10,000 coins you can probably turn it into like 200,000 coins within the course of like I don't know 20 minutes it's really not that bad I mean and you could turn 100,000 into a million within probably an hour now this would probably be best in the early game you know this isn't really something i would do but I, again oh and here's the other thing right you have to wait until someone actually fulfills the buy offer or the sell offer and let's see if i got undercut 770.9 if i go in here seven yeah wow 770.9 i got undercut three times so again i'd have to undo this now, again, if I had multiple stacks of this, I would have half and half split between two different offers, switching back and forth to do that method. I just undercut everybody again. Let's see if someone buys it. Doesn't look like it. Oh, there we go. See, someone bought, someone bought it. Nice. So I ended up actually making about 30 coins, 35 coins from that. <laughs> Another example of a craft flip would be making a buy order of enchanted string or regular string compacted to enchanted whatever. And then you craft it with 
revenant flesh, which costs almost nothing, and then turn that into revenant viscera and then sell that. You might make a lot more doing that. So if, for example, I were to set up buy order of enchanted string of 32 for 40,000 coins, and then of course you can go to revenant flesh buy order 128 for 300 coins anyways as those are going uh, again the only reason why the prices are even close is because of flippers so keep in mind that there's a lot of competition with this one you'll probably have to constantly cancel buy orders and keep your offers on the top and like i said before bizarre tracker is a great resource for this there you go take this Make it into one of these. 307 coins for that. 40,000 coins for that. So we should be getting more than 40,600 coins setting up a sell offer for this. And we are. We made about, by the looks of it, about 7,000 coins from that. So there you go. 7,000 coin profit. Now, again, it's not a lot doing it one by one, but this is an example. You could be doing this times a thousand. So instead of 7,000 coins, it could be 70,000 coins, which for someone that's early game is a decent amount of money. Then you could scale it up another hundred times. And then suddenly 70,000 coins turns to 700,000 coins. And then that's a decent amount of money. You can get some pretty early game weapons with that now again getting undercut is the problem here now again if you're impatient you can keep setting up sell offers and then actually i there you go i didn't even get undercut someone just it was taking a while for someone to buy and then someone just bought and i made money another type of flip would be the timed flip so during a time when the demand is low for an item you should buy it and then sell it later when the demand is higher for example spooky festival starts in eight hours so if you check the price of something like i don't know purple candy it's pretty stable at the moment let's say i bought a stack of it right now and then sold five minutes before spooky festival i might make money now the problem is overcompensation with this one too many people might be trying the same thing you're trying and then actually make the price go down so i'd be very careful look into buying when the market is either really low or it's just really relaxed and there's not a lot of people trying to invest and then as soon as the demand for the item shoots up, try and sell it. But if you're, if the price goes lower, that would be because too many people tried doing the same thing. And even though the demand's higher, the supply also goes up as well. So you gotta be careful. Uh, but yeah, you can also do this with baits whenever you're trying to fish. Uh, you know, if there's a marina event, there's going to be an uptick in the price of, for example, shark bait you can you know a shark bait might have decent actually it does a pretty decent margin as it is like half the value of the item that's kind of nuts i can imagine put it setting up a buy offer right now i could buy like a big stack 1024 for 7,000 coins or i can do literally like 71,000, which would be 71 times this so you know it's like 350,000 coins right i can set up this offer for buy it all and then flip it right as the event's starting i mean even if i flipped it without the event i'd be making back double my money if the order went through but during an event it could be way more than double it could be like three four five times so then i could make 1.5 mil off of one flip you know that's how these things happen so a time flip could be powerful but keep in mind over overcompensation is the biggest risk to this one and then finally you can do this with a ringo as well let's say he offers like lion pet and he uh you craft lion with enchanted beef you buy that up and then sell right as a ringo shows up the price of beef is probably gonna rise because there's gonna be more people wanting it but just again overcompensation too many investors could make the supply not keep in pace with the demand or keep too well in pace and the price will go down so just be careful the next one's actually really simple this is one that every early game player should utilize because it literally doesn't even involve dealing with other players it's called the npc item flip so buy certain materials from the npc and then resell to bazaar for profit so for example if i were to buy block of quartz right it's two thousand per stack craft it into enchanted and then i do it a second time because quartz has two different inventories you can buy from that's 32 enchanted quartz right there and i bought it for a, let's call it for simplicity's sake 2000 coins per stack and 640 is 10 stacks times 2 20 stacks 40,000 coins i spent for this and then what i can do is make a sell offer for 126,000 coins 
if you're in the early game that is huge now again stonks.gg and bizarre tracker will tell you which items have the best margins with this some of them you'll lose money i'm pretty sure you would lose money with wood so be careful more than half the items would probably lose you money but that's another early game honestly flipping is like an early game player's best friend if they know what they're doing Oh, I just collected something I wasn't supposed to. And then finally, here's probably the most famous example of bizarre flipping. And this is why people get so mystified and they're like, I don't know how this works. It's the panic flips. So let's say there's a sudden change in price of an item because some external factor like a game update, a staff forum post, update speculation, or even a YouTuber uh, talking about an item in a video. I'm not guilty of this at all. Of course not. Anyways, this is uh why people think bizarre flipping is so complicated is because of panic flips like this is a completely different thing from just bizarre flipping in general so if you think bizarre flipping is complicated because like people invest in an item just as it's exploding in value it's something else I, again panic flipping is what i'd call it so the way this works um investing in a panic flip is basically gambling you can make millions in minutes but you can also lose millions in minutes what you want in this situation is to be one of the first to get in on a market for that item and instantaneously buy before everybody realizes that something is up let's say a new update comes out and it makes clownfish worth 10 times more because i don't know there's clownfish uh pants that give you 10,000 coins in passive i don't freaking know it increases your damage by 10 times everyone's like oh my god clownfish is insane you want to be the first person to instantly buy as much as you can get your hands on and fill up all of these uh sell offers well scoop up all the sell offers from before the announcement was made because these sell offers were made during a market that did not account for this new feature so scoop up all of the offers that you can and then wait until either wait until the peak or until you want to secure your profit and then instant sell so during a bizarre panic flip you don't even make offers because the offers are going to get uh, they're going to get scooped up so fast and they're not you're not going to get your sell offers filled if they're after the price jump if that makes sense so yeah and then some people what they'll do is they'll actually instant buy instant sell constantly this is something people do in the stock trading world as well so if you were to for example instant buy a stack of clownfish and then instant sell like three seconds later you could make a decent amount of money because it's still in the process of rising in price but then the risk is you need to know when to sell because if you hold on to it for too long typically what happens in a panic flip is that the pipe the price will spike but then it'll come back down again not to where it was but uh definitely much lower than the peak so you want to try selling at the peak or just sell higher than when you bought so you can secure your profit but again you could lose millions of coins doing this because let's say you were not the first and a bunch of people did set um sell offers i mean i guess you could get lucky if you instant buy and then immediately make a sell offer then a bunch of people might take it but typically you want to instant buy and instant sell in the case of a panic flip the, these will happen over the course of a couple minutes and then they're gone and then you'll get either you got a ton of money or you got screwed so be really careful with a panic flip because it's it's basically gambling at that point uh but anyways there you go as you can see bizarre flipping could be really powerful if you know how to master it you can get coins very fast with very little grinding you just need to have good timing and see an opportunity before it goes away and even if you know it's not always that quick you know panic flips last a few minutes but there's always going to be a discrepancy in price for example ink look at this eh, it's not that much it's only like four thousand coins but some items for example the gemstones have ridiculous margins if i go to topaz eh, eight thousand coins amber amber has a twenty thousand coin margin right now so again you could just buy a stack of it for six mil and then you can make a sell offer later and then sell it for twenty thousand coins more twenty thousand times 64 that's your profit for that that's a again flipping is freaking powerful uh that being said there will always be new flips and flips don't always work and sometimes they will work but only if you're patient 
Don't be discouraged. Keep trying. Just to prove my point, I'm not going to touch this uh, offer for an hour and then I'll see if I can sell it and make some money. You know, you can't just expect instantaneous results after two seconds and don't get scared thinking panic flips is the only thing there is to bizarre. No, you can flip any time of the day, 24 seven, and it could be actually quite relaxing so long as there's not like some forum post that makes everything go crazy or whatever. Um, also, if you haven't already, please subscribe if you want to see more 30 virus tutorials. This one was quite long because it turns out Bizarre Flipping has a lot of features to it and I needed to get to all of it. Anyways, there you go. That's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.